Story 1, The Haunted Doll My grandparents always lived in a charming old farmhouse in the countryside. When I was a child, I used to visit them during the summers. One summer, my grandmother decided to show me her collection of antique dolls. She had one doll in particular that she rarely spoke about, a porcelain doll with a cracked face and faded dress. She explained that the doll had been a gift from her own grandmother and had always been in the family. However, there were strange stories associated with it. Many times, they would hear soft giggling and footsteps in the hallway at night. Occasionally, they even found the doll in different places than where they had left it. One night, as I slept in the guest room, I woke up to the sound of faint giggles and footsteps. Terrified, I saw the porcelain doll at the foot of my bed, its cracked face appearing to smile at me. I screamed, waking up my grandparents. They rushed into the room and, without hesitation, decided it was time to get rid of the doll. They took it to an old, abandoned well on their property and dropped it in. After that, the strange occurrences ceased. Story 2, The Phantom Passenger My grandfather was a long-haul truck driver for most of his life. He would often recount a chilling experience that happened to him during a particularly foggy night in the 1960s. He was driving on a desolate stretch of highway when he noticed a hitchhiker up ahead. Feeling a sense of obligation, he pulled over and offered the man a ride. The man had a pale complexion and was wearing outdated clothing. He got into the truck without saying a word. My grandfather tried to strike up a conversation, but the man remained eerily silent. As they continued down the road, my grandfather couldn't shake a feeling of unease. He looked into the rearview mirror and was horrified to find that the passenger had vanished into thin air. Shaken, my grandfather pulled over and searched the entire truck, but there was no sign of the mysterious hitchhiker. He continued his journey, believing it was a bizarre hallucination brought on by exhaustion. However, years later, he met another truck driver who had a nearly identical experience on the same stretch of road. Story 3, The Cursed Photograph my grandmother had an old family photograph that she kept hidden away in a locked drawer. She only shared the story behind it with me once, and it sent shivers down my spine. The photograph depicted my great-grandparents standing outside their house in the early 1900s. In the background, there was a faint figure that appeared to be a woman in a flowing white dress. The strange thing was that my great-grandmother had no recollection of anyone else being present when the photo was taken. Over the years, the figure in the photograph became more distinct and eerie. It seemed to move, and my grandmother claimed she could sometimes hear faint whispers when she looked at it. Several family members who had seen the photograph reported strange occurrences in their homes afterward. Fearing the photograph was cursed, my grandmother eventually had it sealed in a wooden box and buried in the backyard. She believed that burying it would break the curse, and the eerie events did cease after that. To this day, the buried photograph remains a chilling family legend.